If you've logged into Student View, you'll want to find the Gradebook area in your menu. So once you click on Gradebook, it'll bring you to your middle school classes. So it'll show you all of your classes and their grades. So you can see the name of the class here, the teacher, and you can even click on it to message them, and your overall grade right here. So this is your overall grade in the class. It'll give you your letter grade and possibly your percentage grade. And if you scroll down, you can see each one of your classes there. So this is just a brief overview of your gradebook. But you'll also want to take a look at your individual grades in each class. So just because you have an A or a B or whatever it is, you'll still want to double check and make sure that everything is turned in and that future assignments are completed if they haven't been graded yet. So for example, let's take a look at language arts. If I click on the actual um, name of it here, that'll bring me to see my individual assignments. If I click on this arrow here next to marking period one, I can see um, more information about this quarter, but you want to actually click on language arts. And when you do, it'll bring you here and you can take a look at individual grades. So I can see what I got. So this is the name of the assignment and this is the score that I got. And if there are any notes, it'll be here. So notes from your teacher will be there. Also, if you're missing the assignment, it'll have a big red word saying missing or incomplete over here. And under assignment, it'll tell you whether it's summative or formative. So your summatives are your 90% grades and your formatives are your 10% grades. So you'll want to take a look at that part as well. To find out more information about that assignment, say um, you don't remember what it's called or where to find it, take a look at the title. It'll say AOW for this one. It has the title of the assignment, so you know that that's the one that you need to look for in Canvas. If you click on it, there's more details about the assignment. It tells you the name of it, the types, just like we saw in the overview. It also shows notes about it and also a description. So it says you can find this assignment in the week six module. So this teacher lays it out very clearly that there's um, where to find that assignment if you're missing it. So if you would like to see why you say got a 90 instead of a 100, you can go over to Canvas like I showed you before and take a look at that particular assignment by looking in the week six module and seeing the feedback for that assignment. So this is how you check the individual grades. You can always just go back by clicking on your gradebook again. And it'll all show up there and you can see. Um, so say you want to take a look at your science and you can see the different scores that you got for different things here. So you can see that this is a retake grade. They give you original grade and the new grade. You can also see um, what the different tests in here were called. So you can click on an individual one and you might see more information or in this one, there's not more. It's a test, there's not much more information to give. But you can see that it was a summative, so it was a 90% grade. You can see the date it was taken on and you can see the score. So if you have any questions about that assignment, say what it was, go back into your modules and try to find it. But that's how you check your grades in the gradebook. So it's not too complicated. Um, each one of these, this is what you want to look at for your grades. So Canvas gives you an idea of feedback for each individual assignment, but your actual real grade is in student view. So it's very important that you're using this tool to check your grades. You will see if there's missing assignments. It even says it over here. Um, you will see your scores on everything, and you will see what that brings your overall score to. So this is the grade that would show up if grades were posted today. This is the grades that the student would get on their report card. Um, and that's what you should focus on. So regardless of the feedback that's in Canvas or regardless of what your grade says when you click on them in there, take a look at this. This is also a chance to check your grades, make sure that what showed up in Canvas is what's, on, what's in student view as well. So this is your responsibility to check and you should be using it to figure out where you are in your classes.